Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn how to create stack column chart. So in the last video, uh, I demonstrate about a stack bar chart. And now in this video, I will demonstrate a stack column chart. So in some of these scenarios, you are required to, instead of going with the stack bar chart, you prefer stack column chart. And it's also depend on the entire dashboard that how you best fit that particular visual in in the area. So in in this example, because this course is about the data to visualizations in Microsoft Power BI, so we have a lot of space available in this canvas. But practically, when you create a dashboard, uh, you have to make a decision that either you go for a stack bar chart or stack column chart and also depend on the fields you have just drag and drop into that visual uh, if there are too many fields in that visual definitely uh, you you are required to have the best fit place either on top or a bottom left or right side of your dashboard and how you uh, minimize that so uh, in this particular video we will uh, learn about the stack column chart so once you have uh, already uh, created as you can see on the light mode you have already uh, stack bar chart and i want to uh, change it into stack column chart so it's very simple either you start from the very beginning i uh, first way is to just select this uh, existing visual and press the delete button or uh, there is a very cool awesome uh, thing about the power bi visualization is if you don't prefer this existing visual and you want to change it into a different one so what you can do is just click on this existing visual and uh, go to the visualization pane and click on the visual which you want to change so this time we want stack column chart and as soon as i click on it so you can see that within within a second that stack bar chart has been now converted into stack column chart right and the other way is to do it to start from the very beginning is to just click on this stack column chart on the visual pane, and it will give you a very blank object again and then you are required to drag and drop each of the field and start formatting either the title or x-axis or y-axis and then do the color combination as well or you can copy and paste ctrl c and ctrl v with the existing visual and now uh, you can change the coloring, background, shading, or the legend size and font styles into a different format, right? So as we go to click on the formatting uh, icon, so again, you can see as, as in the previous video, we explored about the stack bar chart formatting options. So those are very same to that. Uh, the difference between the stack bar chart and a column chart is the uh, dimension or, or the design of those bars. One is vertical and other one is horizontal. So a stack column chart is basically vertical uh, bars on, on your uh, this visual, right? And as I told you in the last video, you can change the legend position. You can change the legend coloring. You can uh, change the text size of this legend. Also, you can do x-axis and y-axis a separate setting for that. Uh, if you turn off the background of this particular visual in the dark mode, so now we are required to have all the light colors for each of the element presented in the stack column chart. So that is x-axis, y-axis, and, and other things, just like title. So if I just expand the title here, so in the font color, I will select white and uh, i can also set the alignment for example if i want on the right side i can increase the text size as well so i hope uh, you are now learning that how easy it is to uh, drag and drop or make a copy of uh, a visual in microsoft power bi desktop version and uh, the formatting uh, options are very easy and uh, you can explore by your own after the video and, and in the next coming videos, I will tell you more advanced uh, visualization. So this entire course is about data to Wiz. That is how to make data into meaningful visualization so that it can tell you a data story, right? So let me just quickly change to the x-axis and y-axis settings so that uh, the, the number should be visible or 
the text should be visible here so I will just expand the x-axis category and instead of black color I will select either a light color or a white color okay and then in the y-axis so again I will expand the y-axis here and instead of black color I will select the white color here okay so this is how you can change your visuals on the legend if you can also see this legend so the legend uh, should be in white color so here we have the, that option available right and we can increase the font size right so I hope you you are now clear with the uh, clustered column chart uh, sorry stack column chart and uh, I hope that uh, after the video you will have one excel file which consists of some data some fields and you start creating and exploring more options regarding the formatting uh, with respect to this uh, stack column chart so I hope you like this video thank you so much